All right, now, Ernie, you, you had one of the criteria that these guys should be able to uh, shake their uh, booties, yeah? Okay. Welcome to the show today. You know, a lot of times we do really serious stuff, but today is really going to be fun, I think. For example, who do you trust to set you up on a date? Your best friend, your mama? Well, how about letting your ex pick your new love? I wouldn't, but maybe you would. <laughs> That's what we're doing on today's show. In fact, we have a very special part of today's show. Notice we have Chez Joie, my, my very own cafe right over here. Hey, this works. I'm going into the dating business. I'd like you to meet Cindy and Arnie. They were together for seven years, and now Arnie's here to pick a new man for Cindy. Cindy, why'd you break up in the first place? Well, he claims it's a lack, uh, it's a conflict of personality. And I told him that, yes, it was. I had one and he didn't. Whoa! <laughs> and that's the truth. Cindy, this is kind of like saying nasty things to your hairdresser just before he cuts your hair. This no, man's I about to set you like up a on a husband, date. It's more like a husband and wife. All right. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so Arnie, I mean, uh, she, she's saying that you have no person. Why would you trust him to set you up on a date? Because he knows what I want. He just doesn't do it. That's another thing. Whoa. Uh, I say, I say east, west. He goes north, south. All right. Uh -huh. Ar Arnie, you're not feeling hostile at this moment? No, no, but uh, nah. I'll get even with her uh, later on. She'll see about it. <laughs> but the uh, reason we broke up is personality conflict. Is and this I had called revenge fix-up? What are you doing here? I mean, not revenge. No, you, you, you like this woman? Well, still friends in sort of a way, but uh, it's just that we can't get along. Okay, fair enough. Pass. All right, now you each wrote a personal ad, right? Yes. Okay, let's start with your personal ad. What does your personal ad say? Uh, wasn't easy. I had so much to say. I'm glad uh, this not surprise <laughs> me. That, no. Go ahead. Uh, single white Jewish female, chubby. I had to put that in. Uh, red, red, well, red hair, blue eyes, very pretty, loves people watching to ice hockey to art. Seeking an easygoing, playful man, personal hygiene, a must. 48 to 60, but I'm willing to bend the rules. Not on the hygiene, hygiene. part. No, got it. Okay. <laughs> Must be compassionate and successful with a sense of humor and playful to share life together. Okay. All right. All right, Arnie, now you're writing a personal ad for her, right? Yes, I did. All right, what does your ad say? Oh, Five foot wait. two, eyes are blue, strawberry blonde, buxom woman who's self employed, financially secure. Looking for a guy five foot eight to six foot who likes theater, arts, and sightseeing. Not bad. Pretty good. Right, what you say? <laughs> Sounds like you. You're really on the same. All right, now, you went to Fairway Market, right? Yes, to I did. To find guys. Now, we, we've, got, uh, we've, we've got tape on this, right? We're going to see how you pick up men. Now, let's see how we do this. Yeah. Uh, my name's Arnie. Hi, Arnie. Glad to meet you. And I'm uh, trying to find a date for my ex-girlfriend. She cooks. She dances. She goes out. She goes out? Yeah. Self-employed, has her own car. You either want to avoid alimony or you're a very good man. <laughs> She's kind of pretty. She's beautiful. Has she got any money? You're for real. I need a, a woman that can stand perfectly erect. Too old for me. Too old for you? get something a little uh, younger, a little uh, taller. Well, if I find something younger, you let me know. And then uh, Are you going to keep it for yourself? Off a little bit. I, I actually still want to have children, so... Uh, well, she got two kids of her own. I'm looking for a thinner lady. Uh, trying to date my ex. Trying to date for my ex. You know anybody? Oh, hello, young man. How are you? I'm trying to get rid of my ex. Oh. <laughs> man, Arnie, you're really good at this. You were really gutsy there, huh? Yeah. I was trying very hard. I, it shows. But I think that was terrific. You know, we may send you out with a picture of me to Fairways. Now we know where to go shopping for men. All right. So you found three guys, right? Yes, I did. Okay. Should we bring them out? We've got Jeff, George, and George. You couldn't find somebody with a different name, right? Okay. Come on, guys.
Okay, now listen, now you guys, we, we want to judge on something other than just the way people look. Okay, so uh, Cindy, you got uh, questions for each of these guys? Guys, thanks for coming. Yes, I do. They have to okay. be all creative. Okay. If I were not feeling well, what would you say or do to make me feel better? Show me your capacity for compassion. Number one? Well, uh, what I would do is uh, try to find out what was wrong, you know, what, if you were in pain. And if there was anything I could do, if I could go, go show out. her, go, go, let's go, go, uh, be compassionate. Let's see your bedside. Show me see your compassion. chairside manner. Yeah, it's, what's wrong? Is there anything uh, I can do? Are you in pain or what? My stomach is really. <laughs> is there? Uh, can I rub it or? You can rub it. Okay. Well. <laughs> Yeah. Lower, George, lower. number two. All right, Cindy, George. I would go over to you immediately and give you a nice back rub. Oh, I love that. Oh. Oh. Thank you so much. Jeff, Jeff, I know the pressure's mounting. Take two aspirins, call me in the morning. <laughs> Are you a doctor? All right, Cindy, you, you can begin thinking this through. Arnie, I, I you got some questions, right? Yeah, George, one, uh, you were the date Cindy. Where would you take her? Well, uh, I might take her out dancing, or I may also uh, take her dancing into a nice restaurant. George, too? Well, I would take her for a long walk along the Raritan Canal. Oh, you're going to throw in? If you don't, we're all in. <laughs> uh, Jeff? I'd go to a fancy restaurant, mm -hmm. see a movie. How fancy a restaurant? What restaurant are you talking about? Uh, Chinese food. Oh, ah. All right, now, Arnie, you, you had one other criteria, right? About uh, that these guys should be able to uh, shake their uh, booties, yeah? Right. And she likes to go dancing. So uh, any right, guys wait a minute, know how wait to dance? I, think, I don't think we're going to take their word on this. Peter, can we get uh, some uh, music going here? Okay. Okay. Jeff, go for it. Okay. Oh, thank you. Welcome back. Okay, we're talking moment of truth in our kind of whacked out version of the dating game. We've asked each of our exes and friends to select the perfect date for their ex-mate. And we'll see whether or not they match up. You guys a little nervous in there in the audience? Yeah, lots of adrenaline. Okay, let's start. Cindy, who did you hope that Arnie would pick for you? Should I show? Yeah, oh. show me. What is it? What we got George in the red shirt. George, you are. Right. Cindy, George. I would go over to you immediately and give you a nice back rub. Oh, I love that. <laughs> George, I hate to... George, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, this is only the first round, so how are you feeling? Great. Okay, you've got, you've got the inside edge, this is the miscongeniality, but we're not there yet. Okay, okay Arnie, let's see what it says. Wow, George! <laughs> Congratulations, George. Thank you. All right. All right. Why, why did you pick George? Well, I love back rubs. He knew it, and he found out. It was the back rub thing. Was that correct? Correct. Guys, pay attention. Back rubs. All right, here we go.